What's up, you guys? It is your girl, 3C, and I am, I'm here. I am the crochet of the plans and the planner babe that crochets. Shout out to all my new subbies. How are you? Thank you so much for subbing my channel. And if you haven't, come on, smash that button, hit like, comment, and sub subscribe so you won't miss any of my videos all right so how many how many whips and a caddy wampus foe let me start with the caddy wampus foe like what is a caddy wampus foe a caddy wampus finished object that did not go well okay so this is was supposed to be Tony Lipsy's Daphne Afcan. It did not go well because I was in the middle of watching, <laughs> binge watching a show. And what had happened was when I got back to it, I did not, I did not extend it, and so, <laughs> listen, Caddy Wampus, Caddy Wampus, but the rest of it is, is so super cute, but that end over there that I just showed you, Caddy Wampus, now, I gotta sew in the ends. I'm a, I'm gonna block it. I did the edging like uh, the pattern called for, um, but I used so many different. I use my um, bobbin from Premier. I use two strands held together because if you purchase the bobbins, you know they're splitty and they feel kind of thin they're super soft don't get me wrong but they're very splitty and they feel thin if you use one strand so you might want to use two together and this is that the other yarn is sweet rolls i i was using everything so that's the caddy wampus finished object it's not going to be a boggy creek blanket because it's too big so it's going to be three C's blanket, how about that? Um, this is a blanket I did about maybe four or five months ago, maybe longer. This is a star blanket. This is for a baby. I am in the process of blocking it. I'm gonna sew in the ends. What I did was I used mandala and some other yarns and the thing about it was was that it was going to originally be a just a throw over your couch type deal but when i found out my best friend's son was having a baby girl i said oh, no brainer she's gonna get the blanket so she's gonna get the blanket this weekend i'm driving up to see her and that's that more there's more so and i'll try to remember to tell you the types of yarns that i use because all of these mostly all of these are actually um scrap blanket scrap reach stuff oh okay here's another blanket these these are patterns that I found on the YT um, and this is another one again and then what I used for this one 
I used, and I'm getting ready to show you, because I still have it in the bucket. I pretty much, when I crochet, I do it just the way Krista from uh, My Secret Yarnery, she puts all everything in one little container. And so that's what I do. So I used Crafter Secret, Crafter Secret, Crafter Secret. And I am using Yarn ID that they don't sell anymore. And then I also used Super Saver Ombre. So, and I love this yarn in the colorway of, I don't see it. Oh, you'll be missed. But up on. So this is all the yarn that I used for that blanket I just showed you. And I'll show it to you again. Those are all, and I'm almost finished with it. Not quite, because I'm going to definitely do a border. The edges are very nice. Uh, very clean edges very clean edges however um, I don't need to do a border I just want to I like borders <laughs> I do I like borders I don't know now so that's another uh, whip if I say a foe it's a whip because it's still in progress honey still on the hook still on the hook here's one I showed you in a short the wavy and I haven't touched this one in oof, honey it's been weeks okay I am on the boggy creek <laughs> kick right now so this is this one um, it has those as you can see and which is the reason why I wanted to use various colored yarns because of the the texture of the pattern. Love it, love it. So the yarns I am using, Karen Cake in the colorway of Spice Cake. I know that's weird. It, it, it yeah, but it's gonna flow, how about that? And and I showed you this before, the Crafter Secret. I thought it was bubblegum, but it's not. This one is called Hot Rose. And the Spicy Caliente. Oh, there's my hook. I be having hooks everywhere, child. Um, this is the Color Block from uh, Red Heart Super Saver and the colorway Hot Mix Melange Child Caliente. So those are, those are the colors that I'm using for that blanket. Hold please. So that's that one. That's another whip. And today is not Wednesday, and I don't do whip Wednesdays. And then, this is one that, <laughs> oh, I have the, um, that's the pattern. This pattern is called Let's Start a Riot by Gwen Coke, The Woolly Closet. Let's start a riot. Now, again, <laughs> all of these blankets are scrap blankets. Uh-oh, dropped the hook. It didn't break. Thank you, Jesus. Um, all of these, excuse my sinuses. Yeah, it's that, it's that time, y'all. It is that time of year. Okay, so all of these, colors 
I will explain. This is, I have a queen size bed, but I tend to go over so that it would fit a king size because that's pretty much what I like when I make blankets. I make them big enough to fit a king size bed. Now, you, you've got all of these colors, oh, a ton. You would think it's a temperature blanket, but it's not. I probably, would I make a temperature blanket? I mean, I don't know. I don't never say never. I won't ever say never. Okay, so the colors that I'm using is a plethora. Remember this old mandala? Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, oh, I go back with this one. All right. Also, I'll be using this one. This is the old mandala. This is Thunderbird. I think this is Serpent. This is Premier. I got some red, heart red, and I have blue. Just, just look, look at this, look at this. Those are the yarns I'm using to finish this blanket. And anything else that's left over from another project, I'll probably cascade it into this. I just, I love, when I started doing it, I said, oh my God, the name of the blanket, plus the yarns I'm using that you just saw, Let's start a riot. This is just crazy. It's just an amazing array of crazy colors, but I'm loving it. And I'm telling you, I, I really, I'm having fun with it. So I'm holding two strands together. You probably, you probably picked that up. I'm using an O. No, this is not O. This is a Omi hook, ten millimeter. I can whip through it. Because when you have mandala three weight yarn and then you switch from three weight to four weight and you mix them together, it's just like go big <laughs> so that the, the stitches are still kind of playfully uniform together. I'm not going to go up and down the hook. I'm going to stay at that 10 milli so that it can stay like that. But this is this is the pattern. Again, this is how it looks. It has that drop stitch in the middle, like a lark's foot. And I absolutely love it. It's, it's so, it's just, I love it. I love that blanket. That is, this is one of my favorite blankets um, that I'm currently working on. Now, Boggy Creek. I'm working on a corner to corner for that right now and then i'm gonna do another one so i'm doing two blankets and i think i have some uh some um i believe i have some granny square i hope i have some oh you, the t-shirt the check out the t-shirt yeah i was made in the 60s um I'm not gonna tell you what year, but I was made in the 60s. Anyway, that is pretty much everything I'm working on right now. I'm also going to do yet another Daphne Afcan. Let me grab my box. And I just pretty much just threw everything in a premier box. These are the colors that I'm going to use for the next Daphne blanket. I'm going to use Premier. Premier Marl uh, yarn and the color. Really? Really? Really?
I am really trying to find the color. But it's a marl. It's gray, it's black, it's white. I was looking for the color. The colors, the colors, the colors. But it's a marl. It's four worsted weight. I was looking for the color. And I know <laughs> it's all here somewhere. But anyway. Oh, monochrome marl. Anyway, that's the color, monochrome marl. There you have it. This, again, this is going to be another um, Daphne blanket. I have to redeem myself from the Caddy Wampus. That's just me. Then I have Super Saber in granite. I have two of those. I picked those up from Ollie's. Ollie's. Then I have six of these. This is Sweet Rose, of course. I love Premier, I promise you. Uh, this is in the colorway Silver Swirl. It has like a soft gray, and then a deep gray, and then your uh, white. So, I, again, I just, I'm not afraid of color <laughs> at all. Not at all. I'm so not afraid. As, as a matter of fact, I try to embrace it when I do. Uh, you don't want to see that over there. When I do my, especially blankets, I try not to uh, stay in a safe zone. I try to kind of, woo, just throw it out there. So, for the exception of the Boggy Creek blankets, I'm not going to do that with those. I, I did mix it up a little bit for the corner to corner that I'm currently working on. But um, I think that's it. I am, I'm in a blanket making mode. I don't know why. I'm in Texas. What in the world? Our temperatures have dropped from the three down to the two digits. It probably will stay in the, you know, the 80s and the 90s until probably around November. It'll drop probably between now and November. It'll drop again and it'll start getting a little cool. So I'm excited about that. That over there, homespun, um, fireside, Mary Maxim. Homespun and Lion Brands Homespun. All of that is going to be a cardigan. I think I told you guys that a while back. And I'm thinking about um, throwing this in the mix with that. That is like a, what is that, peacock? You will really try to pull some down. It's going to all fall on you. Hold up. This is the colorway Flamingo Beach. Now, you've got pink and orange, peach, and like a brown. Yeah. 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 Um, this is, <laughs> the, the problem with this is, this is like a, a two, I, I've got three weight, no, this is all three weight, there's no two, I thought it was a two, three weight uh, Hanks, but they are beautiful, uh, th this is called Flamingos in Flight, I think all of these, no, it's not, <clears throat> this one is, Neon Watermelon, Flamingo in Flight, Neon Watermelon. So it's two Flamingos in Flight and two Watermelons, and I think it would go great. I'm just trying it in my head. Figure out where I'm gonna put it on the cardigan. Will it go for the back of it? And then the rest would be 
the cream color that you see and then trim the sleeves and the neck with this. <sighs> the possibilities are endless, darlings. So yeah, this is a cardigan and that will go on my hook probably after I finish my Boggy Creek blankets. I'm so not sure. And I'm not sure <laughs> because I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. So I don't know. I'm, I'm in my head. I know what I'm doing. I'm putting it together. So that's it. Oh, the, the crystal bag o' day, polychromatic, stained glass, OMG, everybody's on it, blanket, stitch, pattern. So I, <laughs> being the colorful woman that I am, this would be the stained glass. I'm not working with no black. Not that I can't because I have a commission for a vest in a black. However, this would be the stained glass. The border, I'm thinking to do it in a either a I was thinking either pink, a hot, hot pink, or a um, a soft cream color, uh, yeah, cream color. I don't know yet. Cream color is too safe for this. I mean, this is, come on, come on. This is the roll with it tweed and the colorway of here we go with these hidden crayons this is crayons i'm i'm not sure if this is different dye lots hold on let me check i don't know no it's the same dye lot 585 but this this is the colorway crayon so i don't know and I have some more, I think, in there. But that's it for me. I'm calling this video I'm calling this video Three Whips and a Caddy Wampus Foe. Let me show you the foe again. Let me show you the finished object. One more again so you can see how Caddy Wampus <laughs> Lord to help me. I mean, I was I was really binge watching. And I'm telling you, I was just like, what did I do? Look at the But I kept going, I you know, I put the <laughs> I put the trim on it. I said, we're done. We're done. Look, I had to even fold it down because this was, when I say cattywampus, look at this. <laughs> oh, cattywampus. For real, for real, for real, for real. But you really can't, it's not, unless I was to put it on the bed and take a picture of it. And I'm not gonna do it. <sighs> But I love it. I love it for me. I, I love it because, oh, it's so big and long. And just you imagine a caddy wampus Afghan watching a good flick, popcorn, water, your choice of drink. I prefer water, flavored water with some crystal light. Okay. And you just chill it. And then here comes the crocheter friend that might, girl, did you see, did you mess up? Hey, Caddy Wampus. So anyway, I'm glad that you guys came over. 
uh, took some time out, 25 minutes. Girl, bye. Get off this video. To watch this video, um, yeah. I am also, there's some yarn here that was sent to me um, ooh, a while back by a good friend of mine uh, here on the YT. Shout out to Angie Bell of My Fairy Treasures. Um, I'm going to make a premiere hat with that. I love that hat. And then I have some, I have been purchasing some patterns. I have been purchasing some patterns from some beautiful, beautiful YouTubers that can make a pattern in a minute. And I'm going to be showcasing their patterns by showing you the finished object of those patterns because that's pretty much what I do on this channel. I give credit to whom credit is due. I am not going to tell you that I made any of these patterns up because I did not. Okay. But I'll show you what it looks like and share with you after I'm done the name of the pattern and who is by. So I hope you like this video. Shout out to all my new subbies. All of those, uh, those of you that left beautiful, beautiful comments in my last video. I love y'all. I love my yarny and crafty community. You guys are the bomb. Love you. All right. So stay tuned for more videos sort of like this. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. Just stay tuned, okay? Until next time. Stay cool. Stay crafty.